stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. Since to and I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. Yeah, move around. Oh, that's right. probably not a problem Super for you, sensitive. everybody. What if you're supposed to uh, play this with a controller? Uh, mouse key. Maybe that's it. Dogs always live. Chomper, world's <laughs> best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> Good boy simulator. See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> I could look around, but I'm Except not driving. Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you had be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. Uh, and from how you've dragged me like up and down the streets of San Francisco, movie. I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! Oh, great. So the ad said that just after the mile marker, there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran oh, we could adopt. So sensitive. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Oh, pick a response. Uh, you've always wanted a Let's best Let's find friend. someone that compliments your squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup? I feel like what she said had nothing to do with what I chose. Igloo! Where are you, girl? Iggy. Oh, there's a pup! You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. She's a snow dog. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy, loud. All these we need. Big, fluffy and loud. So your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild, but they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. We've got a new life to start. An adventure for all of us. But everything should be, right? You only get nervous when you're doing something new. Let's awaken those nerves. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. What if I actually could have been like, nah, I don't I don't want that dog. I want a different dog. So look at this God, guy. Your eyes are blue. They're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. We got another race in you? I know some pups that would love to have you around. You gotta go with the old dog. So, meet the team. I think we're a pretty great bunch. You should have fun here. You've got like a cold fire in those eyes. People shouldn't give up on you so quickly. But I guess some people get obsessed with crushing the competition and they don't see the value of a well-rounded team. We can't all be speedsters or beasts. Sometimes you need a pup who can let you know when you're steering the team into trouble. Or a moose. Or a moose. I hear moose are more threatening than bears, is that true? I'm gonna take that growl as a yes. We're out here to become a real dog musher and, you know, 
hopefully one day win a race or two. How's that sound? Uh, I don't think it really matters. I think all things are the same. I feel like I lost myself back in the city. I need to know I can accomplish a dream. We're glad to have you, Stilton. I don't know what the ride is going to be like, but we're definitely going to have an adventure. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills or just because I can't pass up a pup. But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Yeah, like Stilton, I don't think I could have said no. I think I had to Noodle, take him. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who would listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. You still like to ground. run, right? I promise we'll still get plenty of rest. <laughs> you look ready for snugs. Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Oh, I could say no. Enjoy your nap. Did I not take Noodle? No, I didn't. Okay, so far so good. Two pups out of the three stops is a great start. We only need to adopt oh. two more dogs, and we have five more stops. I think okay. we'll be okay. I wonder if I could have adopted no dogs. Uh, oh, look at did this guy. you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? That's they said so he's been eating them out of house and home. I have three well, food bowls. Yeah. I think he'll be a great addition to the team. Yeah, let's take the big boy. Okay, I know I barely have enough food for all of us, but that's part of the adventure, right? We're gonna find our food. We're gonna live off the land. Just imagine it. So my windshield wipers could be working better. <laughs> we'll catch what we we'll need. We'll live a life that's not wasteful. We'll be in control of everything and only take what we need when we need it. We'll keep your belly from grumbling, and you can help carry us all home. We only have to worry about ourselves out here. A big reset button for all of us. We get to start something new. Become someone new. I feel like I'll like Wilderness Me. She believes in herself. At least, she does right now. I like the idea that she was a doctor I believe before in you, this. That makes sense why that she can actually kind of like take care of herself out here. Adopting dogs is so easy. I basically just love all of you. Our team is almost complete, and I've only met a few dogs. We've got four more stops to find our last team member. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Oh, look at him go. Gail, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. Uh, yeah, let's just take Gail. Spunky looking dog. You really want that window open. Do you always need the wind in your fur? Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? Vast is a big word. I guess you'll have plenty of room to run. Just let's try to stay somewhat on track. I'm not sure what's out there. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? We've got a pretty good team assembled so far. Some speed, some strength, some smarts. I think we just might be all right. <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element, never let that wind leave your fur. I can't well, you actually it. have to pick your dog. We're really about to do this. Dogs. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. It said in the settings that they can die, so that's kind of... I don't know how I feel about that. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road, and then hop on the sled, and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. 
Oh, uh, that's a great map. As helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. Great. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah. Oh me boy, too. look at that ragtag team. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Gale, Stilton, Bodega, Iggy. And the sled is all ready to go. Well, we've packed the bare essentials to get right, us Iggy, started, get but we're going to have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Man, she's got like nothing. Okay. Well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? <laughs> Onway. Onway. That doesn't sound right, but hey, it worked. Let's make it our own. Oh, the dogs weren't moving. I was like, what's wrong with the dogs? All right, let's do it, dogs. Cool, so I can look around and I can also look at the I guess. I'm trying to steer, but they don't seem to be listening. Now up here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and G for right. So let's go. Uh, does, it, does it matter? G. Along the trail, you run into encounters. Encounters have risks, but also bring rewards. You won't survive without exploring, but going into encounters costs hunger. This is your hunger meter. Your hunger meter is empty. You need to eat soon or risk losing your first round. Oh, you're a big fella, aren't you? It's okay, pups. I got this. I'm gonna hunt it. You're uh, making this feel really personal. Yeah. I can't miss from here. Great shot, but thank you for helping us. Well, I worked up an appetite. Uh, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. We've got okay. some more meat. That was that was sad. All right, we've got two bullets. All right, let's mush on. Tap and show resources. Okay, this is a lot less adventurous than I thought it was gonna be. This is your dog's energy meter. Crossing a trail marker costs one energy. Your run will end if you cross. I can't see the cat in front of the screen. Your run will end if you cross the trail marker. Either your hunger meter or the dog's energy meter. Wait, okay, so it hasn't actually told me how to eat food yet. So. Looks like we've got a chance at a meal, pups. I think we're good. Leave it. Let's go. We have plenty of food. Another mm. marker. Let's go. I don't remember. Ha! The cause left. Okay, so there's just a creepy abandoned cabin sitting over there. Um. No answer. That probably means it's safe, right? Do we check it out? Um, 
I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, why not? Absolutely. Do I knock? I should knock, right? Great. I found snow. Okay, I'm back. Ready to go? How do we eat food? <laughs> That's Oh, press That's camp. We uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Welcome to camp. Here you can eat meat. Fill in your hunger meter. You can use the dog bowl to feed the dogs. Fill in their energy. Sleep, restoring maximum. Capacity he lost by being tired. Okay. That Iggy. It's hard to get through all your fur. Who's a good job? Alright, pet everybody. Oh, let's get those pets in, buddy. Alright. Petting all the dogs. Scratches, scratches, scratches. This is gonna be good for us. Wait, am I missing a dog? Aren't there six? There's only five here. You keeping a lookout for all of us? I oh, know there's five, sorry. Yeah, I don't want to distract you too much, but I think it's time for some good old pets. Maybe some of these. And a bit of a scratch here. Okay. Food time! Eat, eat the dogs. Chow down, pups. <laughs> Fire would be nice. Birch bark works wonders for starting fires. I'm ready to cook some food. Maybe I should give them the dogs more food. Food time! Chow down, pups. <laughs> Eh, let's eat up, guys. <laughs> sleep. Do I need it to sleep? Like, is it? Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? Oh no, that I don't want to do that. We'll, we'll keep going, I guess. Get back on the trail. I think we're done here. Let's go. I'm gonna fed the dogs. All right, dogs, move it. Yeah, so this so far is not what I was expecting. Like, I actually thought this would be more like a... Uh, Rabbit's supposed to be a delicacy. What's that what other think, snow survival game? Okay, we should be able to make this shot. Anyway, I think this is very on the rails. Uh, not what I expected just at all. Here. You'll make for a good meal. Almost feels like a mobile game, to be honest. That was worth it. We've got some more meat. Hey, we got some more food. We've got one bullet left. Hey, boy. At least we've already got some food. Yep, can we go? Let's be safe out there. <laughs> 